which of the following is a potential complication of necrotizing enterocolitis in newborns a anemia b hypothyroidism c blindness d bowel perforation and the correct answer is d bowel perforation premature babies are at risk for necrotizing enterocolitis nec the condition causes intestinal tissue to die necrotizing enterocolitis can also cause a hole in the intestine bacteria can leak through this hole causing serious abdominal infections switching to iv feedings can help some infants need surgery to remove the damaged intestine which of the following is a common cause of sepsis in newborns a group b streptococcus gbs b human immunodeficiency virus hiv c hepatitis b virus hbv d influenza virus and the correct answer is a group b streptococcus gbs group b streptococcus gbs is a common cause of sepsis in newborns it is a potentially life threatening infection GBS is a type of bacteria that can be passed from a mother to her baby during delivery. When severe jaundice goes untreated for too long, it can cause a condition called A kernicterus, B hydrocephalus, C down syndrome, D all of the above. And the correct answer is A kernicterus Kernicterus is a type of brain damage that can result from high levels of bilirubin in a baby's blood. It can cause ethetoid cerebral palsy and hearing loss. Kernicterus also causes problems with vision and teeth and sometimes can cause intellectual disabilities. Which of the following is a common cause of respiratory distress in newborns? A. Meconium aspiration syndrome. B. Sickle cell anemia. C. Down syndrome. D. Juvenile idiopathic arthritis. And the correct answer is A. Meconium aspiration syndrome. Meconium aspiration syndrome is when babies sometimes poop inside their mom's belly before they are born. This poop called meconium can sometimes mix with the amniotic fluid around the baby. If the baby breathes it in, it can cause some problems. When the baby breathes in this poop, it can make it hard to breathe because it gets stuck in their lungs. This can cause the baby to have trouble breathing and they might need extra help from doctors to breathe better. What is another name for neonatal respiratory distress syndrome? A infantile lung disease, B hyaline membrane disease, C congenital respiratory failure, D perinatal asphyxia. and the correct answer is b hyaline membrane disease hyaline membrane disease is also known as respiratory distress syndrome it is a common breathing problem that occurs in premature infants it is caused by the absence or insufficient amount of surfactant in the lungs Which of the following is a birth defect in which the spine and spinal cord do not form properly? A cerebral palsy, B down syndrome, C spina bifida, D muscular dystrophy. And the correct answer is C spina bifida. Spina bifida is the condition in which the spine and spinal cord do not form properly. What is the treatment for CMV in newborns? A antiviral medication, 
बी एंटीबायोटिक्स सी सर्जरी डी नो स्पेसिफिक ट्रीटमेंट इज अवेलेबल एंड द करेक्ट आंसर इज ए एंटीवायरल मेडिकेशन सी एम वी स्टैंड फॉर साइटोमेगैलो वायरस इट इज अ कॉमन वायरस दैट कैन कॉज सीरियस हेल्थ प्रॉब्लम फॉर पीपल विद वीक एंड इम्यून सिस्टम सच एज दो विथ एच आई वी और अंडर गोइंग कीमोथेरापी एंटी वायरल ड्रग्स मे बी प्रेस्क्राइब्ड टू हेल्प ट्रीट द वायरस इन दीज केसेस एंटी वायरल ड्रग्स कैन स्लो डाउन द रेप्लीकेशन ऑफ द वायरस एंड रेड्यूज द सिवियरिटी ऑफ सिम्टम्स विच जेनेटिक डिजॉर्डर रिक्वायर्स इनहेरिटेंस ऑफ टू डिफेक्टिव हेक्सा जीन्स वन फ्रॉम ईच पेरेंट टू डेवलप ए सिकिल सेल एनीमिया बी सिस्टिक फाइब्रोसिस सी टे सच डिजीज डी हिमोफीलिया एंड द करेक्ट आंसर इज सी टे सच डिजीज टे सच डिजीज इज अ वेरी रेयर एंड वेरी सीरियस डिजीज इट हैपन्स वेन समथिंग गोस रॉन्ग विथ ए पार्ट ऑफ अवर बॉडी कॉल्ड द लाइसोजोम This lysosome is like a tiny garbage disposal that helps us to get rid of waste in our cells. But in people with Tay-Sachs disease, the lysosome doesn't work properly and the waste builds up in the brain. This build up of waste can cause many problems like seizures, blindness and muscle weakness. Unfortunately, there is no cure for Tay-Sachs disease and people with the disease usually don't live very long. What is gastroschisis? A a birth defect in which the intestines protrude through a hole in the abdominal wall. B a condition in which the stomach becomes inflamed. C an autoimmune disorder affecting the gastrointestinal system. D a type of cancer affecting the stomach. And the correct answer is A a birth defect in which the intestines protrude through a hole in the abdominal wall. Gastroschisis is a birth defect in which a baby's intestines protrude through a hole in the abdominal wall usually on one side of the belly button this occurs when the muscles of the abdominal wall do not form properly during fetal development what is renal agenesis a a condition that affects the liver B a condition that affects the heart C a condition that affects the kidneys D a type of cancer that affects the lungs and the correct answer is C a condition that affects the kidneys Renal agenesis is when someone is born without one or both of their kidneys What is Stalipus equinovarus commonly known as? A club foot B flat foot C hammer toe D high arches and the correct answer is Drop your answers in the comment section below For downloading PDF content and for latest updates follow our Telegram channel I have given the link in the description below If you like this video don't forget to hit that like button thanks for watching